Shit, 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 shit. That's a funny little question though, isn't it? I mean, why do you care if I was 26 custard creams deep when Kennedy was shot? Or why would it matter that I was after hanging my washing on the line when the Berlin Wall came tumbling down? Where were you when? <laughs> a question I didn't fully understand until a former minor hurler for Tipperary ran like a bullet after Ireland's third choice keeper booted a hidden hope up the pitch. I was fucking there. That handsome young devil who is furiously packing what he can into carry on luggage is me. My name is Colm O'Hearn and I'm off to watch Ireland f fail miserably at Euro 2016, probably. Because the last time we were in a major tournament. Um, yeah, mm. it's France, so in all likelihood it's going to be hot, so a pair of shorts, but then you have to cater for every situation, so it's, yeah, that'll be handy as well, might need a wash, and something for the plane as well in case we get hungry, but there's hope, anyway, there's always uh, hope, and... Yeah. That's wherein the problem lies, that is, because... That is everything, isn't it? It's the hope that kills you. Yeah. Off we go to France. Hi there, how's it going? Colin. How are you? Not too bad. There, is, is there is, have you, you have Wi-Fi over in France, don't you? Wi-Fi? Good Wi-Fi. Good Wi-Fi. Yeah. Expensive, but good. How much? Weather, weather brilliant. How, mu good. how much is the Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi um, can be anywhere between 3 and 8 euros a day. It's not too bad, all things considered. Weather, weather looks good over there. Sunshine is free. Sunshine is free. Well, that's, that's, that's something. Uh, are you still in London? Uh, I, I am actually. Um, still in London? I thought you'd have left by now. They didn't leave me on the plane. Ah, here. I left my passport at home. It's tickets, money, passport. They're the three things you need to get on a plane. Look, I, well, look, it, look it looks like you're having a good time over there. It looks like it's, it's, it's nice over there. You know? Yeah. Beer is expensive. Yeah. It's expensive, but otherwise it's good. Look, I'm disappointed, but you'll get to see the games on the BBC and ITV in England. They'll be covering it. They're not actually. Um, they're covering every single other match in the tournament, but not the Irish matches for some reason. I know. Yeah, I know. What you need to do is yeah. get a fork. A fork. I did this years ago when we got the BBC. Is it legal? No one will see you. Okay. Go into the kitchen and get a fork from the drawer. Look, it looks similar to this. A fork, right? You need to go up on the roof. You need the two thin little prongs of the fork. Yeah. You need to spread them out as far as you can. Spread them out. Okay. And you'll need insulation tape. Insulation tape, okay. Insulation tape. Green insulating tape. <laughs> For patriotism? That's it. Okay. Sellotape the fork onto the area. Face it. Due south to France. Right, okay, that, that, that's all brilliant. I have, I have that all written down here. 
Um, yeah, juice out. Perfect. Well, look, I know it's a bit disappointing and all that, but you look, I'm sure you'll have a good time over there anyway. Well, we'll have to make the best of it. My last born child will not be with me. When, when, um, when, what's his name? Tipperary. Shane Long? When Shane Long sticks the ball in the net. Mm. I'll be on my own. Hugging total strangers. Yeah. What can I do? What can I do? I know. know. Alright, okay. Go on. Can I really be arsed going on the roof, Mr. Fork? Risking life and limb for... for Ireland versus Sweden? I mean, in all likelihood, I suppose I could. There's normally aerials on these televisions, you know, like rabbit ears or something like that. Uh, yeah, let me see here, if I... It was, it was due south. Due south. Due south, okay. So if I just, hang on, let me. There! We need to tune this in. I swear to God, if this is in some way illegal. Come on! You so. Yes! Now. Right. Good afternoon. Hello and welcome to Ireland's journey in Euro 2016. It starts off against Sweden here today on GTV. Come on, come on, it's the start of the Euro, start of Ireland's journey. I might be in France, but London will have to do. Broadcasting across the entirety of the United Arab Emirates. You have to get off to a good start. Me is my regular broadcast colleague, Jamie Redknapp. Hello, Jamie. Hello. Hello. Hi, Louise. Hello. Put a sock in it, Jamie. Let's get down a pitch side where we're joining Johnny Murphy for the first half of Ireland versus Sweden. Johnny Murphy, over to you, my friend. Let's play ball. Thanks, Brian. I think it was, I'm fairly sure his name is Brian. This is your commentator, Tomas O'Morocco, who will be commentating all of Ireland's games in Euro 2016 for GTV. Alongside my esteemed broadcast colleague, video games journalist, he used to be doing the old freelance, in a bit for GodIsAGeek.com, it is Adam Cook. You're delighted to be here, I'm sure, Adam, aren't you? Yes, Tom, uh, that's correct. Uh, firstly, uh, thanks for having me, because <laughs> no one else will. Um, to be honest, it's, it's like they've got a vendetta against me. I've been at this Games Journalism Lark for years now. And do you know how many times I've been nominated for a GMA? Well, once, I suppose, kind of. I mean, God is a Geek was nominated once, but still, Tom, once? Can you believe that? Have you seen the quality of stuff that I've done on that website? But, um... Yeah, uh, yes, th th thanks for having me, Tom. Ireland on the attack. Jonathan Walters with the ball now. Running into the box. Has a shot and it's saved by the goalkeeper. Uh, uh, led by Ek Ekdel Ibrahimovic. Zlatan! Oh, well, for fuck's sake! Always fancy that Zlatan, I think. He's never played in the Premier League, so it's difficult to call him one of the very best. But I have always thought he was good, and I make a habit of that, Tom. Always being right. Yet, of course, no one listens to me. So that was the pass, anyway, that uh, went into the... What in the name of Christ is John O'Shea doing? Well, it's 1-0 now, anyway, so... Ireland with a lot to do. 
James McCarthy with the ball. Running up the... I see. <sighs> My God! What are you doing? Come on! Sweden again to Zlatan. Oh, <laughs> he got an old, an old punch in the face there. Well, good enough for him now. Right, Shane Lang with the ball. Running up for the crash in. James McCarthy. Jesus! Shane McCarthy! You know, I look at so many games websites out there and I think, I'd make him better. But I see it waiting by the phone. And do you know who calls? My mother. My mum. Good old ma. Is she going to commission my piece on the Auckland Swift? Yeah, exactly. Across to... to off of Christ! I don't know who that man is, but Jesus hates Christ. He can use his feet to play football. What was his name? Ty... Ty Vaughan. He sounded like one of them lads from the game at the Trolls. For God! Completely open. Go on, yeah. You might as well. Do you know what you might as well have done, lads? It's just. Part the sea like Moses. Part the Red Sea. Huh? Part that Red Sea. Let him score that goal. Let him go 2 0 up, of course. So, is Shay Given still playing? Uh, he just more down Randolph. And that's it! For the first 45, Ireland trailing by two goals to nil to the Swedish lads. Back to the studio. We lost connection, but we're back again. Back to the studio. With uh, Brian, I think his name was, and Jamie Redknapp. Boy, howdy. What a two-period blaster to kick off Ireland's First game in their Euro 2016 campaign. Ain't it Jamie, huh? What an incredible first 45 minutes, huh? Out of the park, out of the park. Jamie, I believe you've got some analysis for me and the viewer at home, huh? Do you, Jamie? So, man, he passes it, he passes it to, uh, to the other man. And, uh, yeah, it's go. It's go. You can't. You can't dispute that. You can't. You can't dispute that. You know. <sighs> Shut up, Jamie. I've just gotten word we're heading back down pitch side with Johnny Murphy. Johnny, you kick us off for that third period, my friend. Catch it, Johnny. Catch it, Johnny. It's thrown, Johnny. Balls in your court, my friend. Back with our uh, commentary team of Tommaso Morocco and Adam Cook. Now, Adam, you are telling me that even at this stage you think Ireland are out of it. That is correct, is it not? Yes, tell me. Well, it's looking like it's all over now, Tom, a bit like my career, really. But that yes, does yeah. give me an opportunity to mention that I'm available for review work. So if there are any editors out there looking for a well-established, well-written uh, author... I I'm going to have to stop you, Adam. Well, <laughs> doesn't know where to look or where his feet will take him. He's a dead hand with the hole and the schlitter, but Christ, he can do some magic with his feet as well. Shit, long up your bio, huh? The lad from the game with the trance passes it into... Are you joking me? Christ on a bike, he's done it again! You're a big, uh, you're a big fan of this left end fella, ain't you? Well, number 21 is showing his appreciation for the efforts of his teammates, and it's nice to show you care about others at times. I mean, I'd, I'd like to be appreciated every now and again. Oh, fantastic tackle there from James McLean. Out to the right wing, where Jonathan Walters was waiting, but the, he was repossessed or depossessed. Or whatever it's called. James McLean, and he has the ball again. He's running into the back. James McLean! Oh! Pulls one back for the Irish. 3-2 now. It's not over yet at all. He's pumping his fists into his chest like a man who's very excited to have just scored. Headed out there by uh, possibly James Cole. I'm not entirely too sure. Anyway, the get so it out, get it out, get it out! Oh, fuck! Oh, That's it now, forget about it. Robbie Brady with the karma kick. Less than 15 minutes to go. James McLean! 
Oof! He twatted that like a man frustrated with the circle jerk that is the games industry. James McLean again has been involved in so much tonight. Running through the pit. Jesus, oh shit! It's 4 3 with the steely determination of a man born in Northern Ireland who wants to play for the Republic of Ireland and does subsequently play for the Republic of Ireland. James McLean pulls one back for the Republic of Ireland. The referee is surely about to blow his final whistle and seal victory for the Swedish. But Seamus Coleman has other thoughts on his mind as he throws the ball to Glenn Whelan. Super sub. Is he? Is he? Jesus! <laughs> I swear to God, lads. That's it. Four three to Sweden as Irish hearts are broken, Brian. Thank you very much, Adam, for your time. No, I think I think I'll go back to games critique, Tom. You're I've done. learned that no matter what, you can never give up on your dreams, and I'm not about to either. Except in this commentary gig, which I could potentially pitch an idea about yeah. to someone. Over to you, Brian. It's heartbreak for the Irish here against the Swedes. Tell me how you saw it as the Irish get beaten 4-3 by Zlatan and his yellow men of cowards. Winners, Jamie. Yes, the Irish were very unlucky to not pick up something against the Swedes tonight. It's the animals. In Euro 2016. But in the second half, um, Ireland, were well, they, they had their chances. As did Sweden, who went on to win the game. Did they put the... I want to show you. I don't want to be watching this. And do that. Oh, a few. Put on what? Or at least oh, one. Yeah. Maybe not a few, I'm not sure. Well, we might put What's he talking on. about? Uh, one of the chances. Shut up. Are... For a brief split second, I just think, what if? What if they took this tournament by storm, steamrolled over everyone, and raised that trophy aloft in Paris? All right, okay, I, I, can, I can go on a bit sometimes, but the sentiment is still quite nice, you know? It's just, there's a bit of hope there. And as I said at the, the beginning, it's the hope that kills you. And, no, oh, hang on, actually. I think, I think this is the part where I mention Leicester. You can even use Leicester City as an example this year alone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true to form. Now, I could be in France, trying to make the best of a bad situation. See, I mean, Ireland uphill battle already, but, uh, yeah. I pulled a classic column on that, too. Oh... Could I leave you at home? Tickets, money, passport. It might be the hope that kills you, but it's certainly the stupidity that inflicts punishment. Jesus Christ! What a feckin' Aegis.